Hello and uh, welcome to yet another from Builder session. Uh, we've already seen how to create a form and how to uh, configure the question properties. So for this session, uh, we want to see how to save and uh, preview our form. So this is the form that we have created. Um, the COVID form. And uh, something to mention is that as you build your form, uh, it's important that you save it as a draft. This allows you to uh, make ongoing adjustments until uh, the form is basically finalized. So you can actually uh, save the form as a draft when you build uh, each question or is uh, section like until your form is uh, completed. So these are the different sections already uh, created. And uh, now uh, let's just walk through the, the steps of saving the form. So we have the save button uh, here. So just go ahead and click uh, save form. The form name uh, basically is the name that you would want to use for that form A. So let me call this COVID-19 form. Uh, so if you have created uh, multiple versions of the form, uh, basically uh, you might have those different versions, uh, but this is our first form. So I'm just going to give it uh, version 1.2. And then you need to select the encounter type to link your form uh, to. And uh, so if you want to have it linked to the consultation uh, or any other uh, encounter type, please specify the encounter type. So for this form, we want to link it to consultation and the description. Uh, like we mentioned before here, you are supposed to add a description for the form. Or uh, let me call this uh, form for COVID-19 examinations. And then just go ahead and click save. And now your form is saved. So really it's important that you preview your form uh, to see how it looks. Uh, and functions using this preview. And this is an important step, Lily, to ensure that uh, your form is user-friendly and uh, intuitive. And while previewing, there are a number of things that you want to make sure uh, that you check. Uh, you want to verify that you have used clear and concise labels for your fields. Uh, you want to ensure uh, related questions are grouped under the same section. You can see like, for example, we have the visit details. We have basically grouped encounter location, encounter date, and encounter provider. This is one of those examples. And also confirm that you have utilized appropriate fields, uh, such as the checkboxes, the select options, and uh, the radio buttons. <coughs> We've talked about the radio buttons below. Uh, this is the, the select field. This is the multi-select. So you need to go through each and every option as you preview, basically to see or to verify. We have used the date field type here. This is a text, this is a text area, select there. And uh, yeah, and we also have a file field type for attachment that we might want to have. Yeah, so preview each and every question um, and uh, check everything. Uh, check your the form is user-friendly once again. And this is very key uh, 
because it helps you catch any issues before the form is, is published. So we are not yet ready for publishing until uh, we are comfortable that the way our form looks. And uh, so once you finalize that, uh, you can publish the form and we are going to look at the form publication later. Uh, so now um, that's basically it for this session. I encourage you to try creating a new form uh, from scratch with the steps that we have just covered. And you'll realize that uh, there are so many other <clears throat> more advanced features uh, of the form builder. And uh, I would really urge you to explore those uh, uh, in the OpenMRS uh, wiki page. So happy form building and see you in the next session. Bye-bye.